Hey Virgo Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be doing a general love reading from now until the end of September. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch storylines however you like. Alright, so I'm going to be looking to your overall view, your energies, Virgo, the person that you're currently dealing with, right? Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of September 2021? What is going on with my Virgos in regards to their love lives, please? What can you tell me here? Alright, let's see what's going on. Alright, your overall view is the hermit in reverse. Wanting to come back around or wanting to come out of this period of isolation. You're very much, ooh. You're very in your feelings about this. And so wish unfulfillment. Your person definitely, ooh. Somebody's not making a decision about this, alright. So it's kind of like wanting to return, wanting to come out of the cold. Okay, with that hermit in reverse there, you could be dealing with the Virgo or another Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Alright, so somebody here is definitely wanting to come out of this period of silence or this period of no communication. You're really much in your emotions here with that temperance in reverse there. You could be feeling wishy-washy in regards to this. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So this is like a wish on fulfillment. So at one point you probably thought this. At one point this was a wish fulfilled for you. Your wish, but now it's more of a draining situation, like emotionally draining. Your person has the world in reverse and the Ace of Cups. So they definitely do. They feel like there's unfinished business between the two. You could be doing Sagittarius or a water sign or a fire sign. But they definitely feel like there's unfinished business uh, or lack of closure between the two of you. And they definitely do have deep emotions for you still. They do want to reconcile or have like a new beginning in regards to this. But no one's really making a decision with that two of wands in reverse there. Alright, so for some re for some of you, it could be not, not making a decision between more than two people, more than one. I don't know. Alright, so tell me about the hermit in reverse. What is this hermit in reverse about? What is this hermit in reverse about? So it's like wanting to return and come back around with an offer. So some this is the energies that somebody here is carrying with, throughout this whole thing. So it's like wanting to return, wanting to come with the offer or something sincere or something like emotionally. Uh, someone wants to come back around and open their feelings or have some sort of a new love offer or a new beginning here. Could be the with the water sign. Tell me about the temperance and reverse. What is this temperance and reverse about? Tell me about the temperance and reverse. But you're <laughs> so it's kind of like your emotions are all over the place, but you're keeping it at calm and cool. So it's kind of like you're really not showing it, but deep down your emotions are all over the place. Alright. So it's kind of like you're keeping a strong face, but but inside it's 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 like every uh, you know, but you definitely do. This definitely is a wish on fulfillment for you. All right. So tell me about this nine of cups in reverse. What is this nine of cups in reverse about? So it's kind of like you're thinking logically about this, even though in the inside you're like all over the place or emotionally, you know, wishy washy or unstable in regards to this person tell me about this nine of cups in reverse what is this nine of cups in reverse about and the empress so this is a wish on fulfillment because there's no growth and expansion maybe at one point in time there was some sort of growth and expansion or there was some sort of connection here that could was nurtured but right now there's a lack of that happening and it's emotion it's kind of like really getting to you emotionally could be dealing with the Libra for some of you. So tell me about the world in reverse. What is this world in reverse about? Tell me about the world in reverse, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so tired. Tell me about the world in reverse. So your person definitely feels like there's a lack of there there's unfinished business here or a cycle that's definitely maybe there was some sort of missed opportunity in the past between the two of you at some point in time. Tell me about the world in reverse here, please. Why is that Seven of Swords in the world in reverse for? And the Two of Swords? Tell me more about that Seven of Swords, please. What's going on with my cards today? Tell me more about that Seven of Swords. Your person 
your person, um, they do want this, okay? They do feel like there's a lack of closure between the two of you. Um, but they, I feel like they kind of maybe self-sabotaged it a little bit with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse there. So it's kind of like they're, they're not fighting for the connection neither right now. So it's kind of like even though they feel like there's unfinished business between the two of you or like a closure, it's kind of like they're just giving up or throwing in the towels or part of them is kind of giving up and being really closed off or indecisive about it. They feel like they couldn't be on the same page with one another at some point in time. You guys couldn't be cordial with one another. But I feel like even though your person, a part of them does want to have a reconciliation because they definitely still have deep emotions for you. But at the same time, it's kind of like they sabotage it and they kind of like not fight for it. They stop fighting for the connection. But at the same time, they're very indecisive in regards to this too. With that two of swords there, all right? Uh, tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. For What's this Ace of Cups about? What the hell is going on? <laughs> so, it's like... Someone's avoiding a disaster. It's like they're avoiding a disaster. Like, I really do feel like your person definitely does have feelings for you, but they're not fighting for the connection right now. They do feel like it's unfinished business, but at the same time, they're avoiding you. They're avoiding a disaster with you. They're very close off and very indecisive. All right, so they're all over the place, too. And no one's making any decisions in regards to this right now. So tell me about this two of wands in reverse. What is this two of wands in reverse about? What is this two of wands in reverse about? And the nine of pentacles in reverse. Why is that? And the eight of pentacles. So it's kind of like... push pull kind of thing here it's like a push and pull sort of like you know wanting to put the work in wanting to have this but then again trying to drop it all over the place it could be done with the capricorn or earth sign here Okay, um, so how does uh, Leo see this person that they're dealing with? What can you tell me? I mean, for some of you, you could be dealing with the Leo. For some of you, you could be dealing with the Leo. For me to say it like that. This is a Virgo reading. Okay. How does Virgo see the person that they're dealing with? How does Virgo see the person that they're dealing with? See them as the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse about? And the Queen of Wands. <sighs> um, I feel like you're still very much attracted to this person. Okay, you see them as someone that you're really not... There's a lack of clarity or there's a lack of truth in regards to the situation here. Alright? You view this person as someone who, who who's not really giving you clarity or there's a lack of clarity or there's a lack of truth. Or there's a lack of communication. But at the same time, you view this person as someone that you do want to communicate with or you do, you find very attractive. Okay. It's just not getting off the ground right now. I think this is this is making you know in your feelings here. So um, how um, how does this person view or see Virgo? How does this person view or see Virgo? The star. Why is some of you dealing with an Aquarius? Tell me about the star card. Tell me about the star. They view you as some sort of missed opportunity at some point in time. I don't know if there was some sort of missed opportunity that happened between the two of you, or they, they view you as someone who's getting away or who, are, who has gotten away. All right, but I really do strongly feel like they're still very much attached to you with that star card there. They're just they're just sabotaging this right now. So they view you as someone they had a missed opportunity with, or whatever the case may be. They're still very much. I feel like this person does have deep emotions for you still. Like they do want to heal the situation, but they're not. It's like they're avoiding this at the same time. I don't know. 
what actions will uh, Virgo be taking towards this person? What can you tell me? What actions will Virgo be taking towards this person? What actions will Virgo be taking? The King of Wands in reverse. Why is this King of Wands in reverse about? And the Ace of Pentacles. Why, why is that? I don't really feel like you're going to be taking any action towards this person. King of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles upright. Why is what happening? Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're just going to be in this energy of wanting a brand new start, wanting to have something serious or stable, um, but waiting. Okay. I'm not seeing you taking any initiative towards this person with that King of Wands in reverse there. You're wanting a brand new start or a brand new beginning, but there's this energy of waiting. So I really don't see you taking initiatives with this individual here what um what are um this person's actions towards Vir um virgo what are this person's actions towards virgo what are this person's actions towards virgo a magician why is the magician here and the page of cups in reverse they <sighs> so it's kind of like no one's making no one's taking any initiatives here Every, both, both you guys are like this. Alright, so you've been dealing with another Virgo. They do want to make this happen with you. And they are manifesting you. But they're they're keeping their distance emotionally with that Page of Cups in reverse there. So I'm not seeing them being open, even though they are manifesting something here. So it's kind of like both you guys are just keeping your silence. What's the possible outcome for the situation? What's the possible outcome for the situation here? Eight of Swords in reverse. Ugh. Why is this happening? And High Priestess in reverse. Why is the High Priestess in reverse for? Oh, okay. So there is. Uh, why, why is all happening for? I, oh boy, I feel like there is a chance for somebody to that somebody does come back around and does kind of like come out of this silent period between the two of you for why because of why it's all happening. But I, but in reality, I really feel like things are not. If anything, things are stuck. Okay, with that eight, with that eight of um the eight of swords there is in reverse anyway. Uh, you got the Hierophant in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. I really don't feel like there's going to be any commitment right now between the two of you. Or, I just feel like things are going to be extremely stagnated and extremely slow. I don't feel like, um, I feel like somebody here definitely does want, I feel like you guys are going to be reconciling, like, but not now. The energy seem really stuck. There's a lack of commitment, there's a lack of form movement. Alright, things are going really slow. You guys are in this energy of both of you not budging or not moving or keeping your silence. It's not going to go anywhere. If you don't say anything. Alright, so it's kind of like this is energy of being stuck or not taking any action towards one another. Alright, that's basically what I'm seeing here. So that was your reading, Virgo. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay.